All right, first we're gonna clean and remove any kind of debris that's inside the switch points. Get rid of all the silica sand and go ahead and lube the switch plates with graphite, which is a dry film lubricant. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna approach the switch and we're going to unlock it. Exposing every single compartment. Now that we have the switch exposed, we're gonna go ahead and take a visual look inside each one of our compartments and see if there's anything noticeably uh, damaged or wrong. We're gonna look around. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. We're gonna go over here in, into this case, or into this. <clears throat> take the cover off. Uh, make sure that we have enough grease inside there, uh, covering each one of the teeth of the gear at the bottom. If there's too much, it'll spit around and uh, make a mess. Uh, I'm going to come over into the contact side. We're going to make sure everything's well lubed. We're going to spray the teeth inside there. We're going to spray the actual lock dog. Everything looks clean and everything's well lubed. We'll check contacts to make sure that there's no burning or damage. We'll come over here and check our motor now. Make sure the wires are not going to get pinched. out carbon, checking to make sure my um, brushes um, are not too worn down or there's any sparking on the brushes that might indicate that it's not making good contact to the commentator. And I'm just going to blow out any loose carbon that's inside the actual motor housing. Make sure everything's tucked back. We're also going to want to make sure that there's no uh, actual uh, grease coming out of the gearbox leaking into the motor housing and if there is we'll clean it up um, now that we've done our visual inspection um, we've waited for trains to pass by this is when we would call control um, make sure that uh, we have enough uh, time to operate the switch 